Hi everyone, Renegade67 here with part 7 of us playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Turn just for all case uh, 3, that's the one, blind. Um, last time, he should have seen the Ringmaster as well, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> I love how I start these sessions, like, uh, it's been like a good few weeks since I recorded this last because part 4, 5, and 6 were recorded before the glitch came in, I didn't record anything after that for a while, like, um, you're seeing this on the day it's being uploaded. This and the next part, <laughs> because, you know, I said I'd upload two today, and I'm doing it. Um, anyways, oh, obviously the remaster rocked the scene of the crime before the witness. This sounds like deja vu. Case to be the first game much? Yeah, let's keep going. Could have seen, um, <clears throat> anyone with sense could have figured that one out. Now, how does her voice go again? Give me a sec, I'll get into it. What are you talking about? The Ringmaster and Max went together to the Ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. Something like that? I, I should really should watch videos for reference, but I'm lazy! <laughs> and don't think about things beforehand. It's Maximilian Galactica. <clears throat> if Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the Ringmaster's room, why was he, just as the witness said, at the scene of the crime? Uh, why was the defendant at the scene of the crime? Because... Both, just because they were, nah, anyways. I see, mm-hmm, and there you have it. Seems that at this stage I have no reason to doubt this witness's testimony. There are clearly no conclusive contradictions. You said dick. He's right. Mia? A brilliant judgment, your honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Philo wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? <coughs> what? <clears throat> Max is part of the bitter love triangle. Which is probably why Max conked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? It's confusing. Uh, yeah. I think so. I don't know anymore. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, you're so stupid. It's funny. Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean, clown. Didn't that change anything? Did that change nothing? Okay, let's go back to the very beginning. I again, it's been a while. Don't know what I have and haven't pressed. I'll be able to tell by trying to skip through it. Clown, you're talking about no. Okay, I haven't seen this one yet. Just as a little bit of exercise, and his makeup is running all over the place. Once practice was over, he was nine tenths of the way to keeping over, for, to keeling over for good. Uh, how's Trilo again? Something like what I was doing. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Pet took him back to his room. Something like that. <laughs> what a bitch. When it comes to being a first place loser, the guy's the head of the pack. Well, oh, congratulations for him. Then what happened? <laughs> Getting with the down low. There we go. Um, once we got to the lodging house, did I do this one yet? No, I haven't. Okay. I went over to the plaza to do some thinking. Okay. Thinking? You, a puppet, think? Really, now? Wouldn't thinking in your nice, warm lodging house have been a better idea? Objection. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. Even a puppet's smarter than you, Phoenix. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, Phoenix. I saw Max saying, where's the scene of the crime? Pretty sure I did this one, but just to be sure. No, never mind. Of course I'm sure. How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Um. Well, I guess. The wax of the years later nowadays. You're like talking to a brick wall. Max is a three-piece. Um, uh, could you be any more dense? All together now. Sell cat, cloak, white roses. Gotcha. Thank you! Jeez. Nick, I think you should put a little bit more effort into preparing your questions. Oh, Phoenix getting schooled by a puppet. I love it. Only one hang that way. How could that punk not be the killer? I've already done this one, right? Can I skip through this one? No. 
You ask all the answers won't change. The only person I saw in the down. Really needs to improve his manners. Heard what blah blah blah. Let him continue with his testimony. He showed up and took the magic boy away. Um really now. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? We have an autopsy report. It's been a while. Yes, we do. 10:15. Blunt force trauma back in the head. Okay. Hmm. I suppose that would have been around. Hey, what time was it? Hammer time. Uh, um. Oh, I think it was around. I'd say about uh, a bit after 10:30. Is that when the police showed up? Because that means they took about 15 minutes. Practice ended at 10 p.m. So you hang around the lodging house the entire time? Oh, uh, I guess this sounds about right. Give me an alibi and don't say Ben's your alibi because that'd be stupid. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside that in that weather. Well, some people are crazy. What do you can do about it? Oh, the truth is... Will you shut up, you big... You know, joke? Why are you telling him anything extra? We just stand outside in that weather. We're romantic. Romantic. Are you waiting for someone? Like Regina? Huh? What? Who said we were waiting for someone? Objection. Mr. Phoenix Wright, we can all do without your authentic theories. Blah, 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 blah. Theories. Theories. But this witness, he's cracking under the pressure already. I'm on to something. Phoenix, with anyone else, that excuse would not work. Except for maybe Apollo. But uh, even then, he's kind of flimsy. Hmm, Mr. Wright! What do you suppose the witness was waiting for in the cold? But, um. Oh god, that health bar saying that seriously scares the crap out of me. One person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. Ah! <laughs> and he lost his head. You should give up while you're ahead. <laughs> Uh, hilarious. You were waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? Mm. Is this true? Well, I, um, you can't really ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for all night? That what's important is what I saw, don't you forget it. Well, well uh, the puppet may be a bit stiff. He's right. Eh? Alright. There's obviously a reason why this witness was there that night. Well, duh. Spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Hmm, what about a third thought or a fourth thought? First! Meh. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. <laughs> what did you? Ch <laughs> I love this game. When you saw that fan at the scene of the crime, Objection. you saw some guy in the getup, just like the steel frickin' samurai. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that he could have missed someone else other than Max heading to the scene. There is absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um, um... I guess you got me. <laughs> yes, he admits it! I'll spell the beans for real this time. It's true. I was waiting for Regi Regi Regina... I mean, Regina. Pain? <laughs> I love that. Oh my god, Francisca, you're just so cruel. Don't volunteer things. Mr. Quist, tell us the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. No, I'm oh, sorry, that voice. I'm just loving it recently. Were you or were you not waiting? Now I'm trying. Now I'm slipping into the uh, the guru voice. Um, were you or were you not waiting for a the down low? Were you or were you not waiting for Regina in the entrance to the lodging house? I was. I was waiting to propose to her with the ring. Cool. You were what? Waiting to propose? Mowage. Mowage. That's from the Princess Bride, but I don't remember the rest. Um, what's the matter? 
You think the humans have a monopoly on marriage? That the matter of a puppet marriage is not under review in this case. You're the judge. I mean, look at your horrible outfit. Oh god. More pain. More suffering. Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. Oh, shame. Hit the puppet once, shame on you. Hit the puppet twice, ouch, that stings. Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. Well, yeah, pretty much. About the proposal. Don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. I even had something to give her. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose to it to her. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it in my pocket. Ooh, that's bullshit. But I'm not sure there's anything clear to present there, so I'm gonna try pressing a couple things. Possibly everything if I don't get anything right away. Don't be so obtuse! Or, yeah, be a right triangle. It's much better. Just because my puppet doesn't mean I can't love! Uh, unless you're Pinocchio, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. As unrealistic as the right series can be, it's still somewhat realistic, so you have to, no, it's all bad. Guess you're right, just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her too. Exactly. His honor is looking a little less than honorable. <laughs> Peter! Peter, what the hell? So I'm gonna get on the down low with that animal time, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, um. Did you hear that? His sigh seems a little wistful. Oh, the animal tamer. Oh, 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 yes, all the way down there. Okay. I'm gonna stop there. About the proposal. Don't be so surprised. I was gonna propose to Regina. 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 Virginia. Um, I even got something to give her. Really? Elaborate. What was it exactly that you planned on giving her? Yes, details. You know exactly what I was going to give her, numbskull. The only thing I could find that could m match Regina's beauty. Really, there's a match? Answer his question, what is it? You're going to die when you hear this. It's an uh, engagement ring. An engagement ring? Wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs. Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far! Hmm. Because whip looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. Or everything. One hit from that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. Pain equals bad. Push on anyway. <laughs> I want Phoenix to suffer. I want to win the trial, but I want a Phoenix to suffer, so we win. Maybe something of a joke. This is a historic. What? Ever proposed to a human? <laughs> oh, I advise you to cut this argument short. As long as I'm not losing health, I'm happy. The engagement ring. <laughs> you sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for men in a black in a black bathrobe. Oh, Trilo, you and your mouth. Plan on giving an engagement ring to Regina. Planned on? An engagement ring? Uh-huh. It's actually a diamond-shaped stone. Cut from glass. Even more brilliant than the real thing. I think Regina's gonna love it. It's just a ring. What's the matter, Nick? Well, there's gotta be something I can catch him on. Waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Um... Elaborate on this. Whose pocket was the ring in? Mine, of course! What a stupid question! You've gotta be kidding me. You think Ben could pull that off? Uh, I'm so sorry. R really r r r oh. You don't have to apologize for that. He's the one who should be apologizing. He should cry and bleed tears of death. <sighs> anyway. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present. Oh! Elaborate. So you went to the lodging house to give it to her? Uh, no shit, Sherlock. Sherlock right. I tried to give it to her during practice so many times that I lost count, but... 
uppity snob kept getting in the way. Ugh, that, that, Max. Maximilian Galactica. Uppity, okay, hmm. <clears throat> uppity snob? He couldn't possibly be talking about me. Maximilian Galactica? Is that someone like the voice? Let me think. Um, whoo! He couldn't possibly be talking about me. Something like that. When I get a hold of him, I'm gonna saw his wood block in half, and not with magic. Wow, oh, I'd be more impressed with magic. Well, that always... Well, they always say that love creates rivalries. So what about this present? In the end, I wasn't able to get it here. Objection. I just need a little more to go on, I think. You're still thinking of get, trying to give it to Regina? Of course I am! I spent three months' salary on this thing. I'm not going to give it up that easily. I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Probably way more than he deserves. How about Nick? Nick? It's about time to unwrap this to his testimony. That's a spirit, Nick. Give him heck. Oh, the judges, the days look again. Maybe you should get a heap more. Don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. When did I start pressing? This is the one I haven't pressed yet. Just in case, I'm going to press everything. By proposal, you mean proposing marriage, correct? To Regina? Of course, that's what I meant. What kind of stupid question is that? I wasn't going to propose that we became some sort of outlaw by king. Right, Ben? Wait, you were or you weren't? Got it? That's the truth. Okay, um... In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Um... Okay, I thought so, but I wasn't quite sure. I mean, there were I thought it might have been money I had to present. But anyways, do you mind if I show you something? What is it? What are you talking about? Uh-oh, looks like they're going to double-team me now. Good cop, bad cop. Do you recognize this ring? It looks a little engaging, wouldn't you say? That's mine, give it back. Thief, thief. Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said... In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Why then, do I have it right here? Ah! Oh, I love getting back into something of this. I mean... I don't know, it was getting hard for me to actually record something, like... Like, for the last few days, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna record something. And I just was never getting in the mood. I was like, I'll do it later. But you know what? I finally sat down and said, you know what? I'm doing it. And now that I'm doing it, I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm I just, ugh. There have been things like that, but you know, it, it's... I hate to relate it to this, but it's like my homework. I mean, I start my homework, and then when I'm doing it, I don't want to stop till I'm done. Well, sometimes. It depends on what the homework is. But you know what? This is much different, because this I'm actually really enjoying. I'm like, just wanting to get it over with. But, um... Yeah, so I'm glad I'm doing this now. That's that. Ben, say something! Eh? Don't put me on the spot. <clears throat> eh? Just don't put me on the spot like that, Trilo! I found this in Money's room. M -m Money's room? You mean room they put money like a bank vault? Ha! That filthy monkey's gonna get what's coming to him. Mr. Quist. I prefer if you avoided slandering innocent flats in my court. <laughs> well, Your Honor, money really is a monkey, in every sense of the word. Oh, I see. Well then. Money likes to go after the shiniest things that he can find and gather them up. Like the ring! Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Ahem. <clears throat> Trilo. When was this ring stolen from you? Well, well I suppose it was... That time, you know, that night, the night of the crime. What did you just say? Details. I need more details. Well, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the plaza. 
right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Well, um, I guess you might um be able to say that. Maybe. Like, teacher like stute? This could be two things. Number one, Acro is a lot like money in that he's good at stealing things, except maybe he's very elusive when he does it, so he could have gotten the ring. Or, Max is more elusive than you think, and he actually didn't steal it. Eh, one of the two. But I think what we're trying to go for this isn't Max, so I'm going to assume it's Acro. The ring might have, well, it could have been taken around that time. Oh, or maybe the mon monkey just did it. Never mind. So it was the monkey. The monkey did it! Ben, what's with you? Oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything, especially not who committed the murder. It's not for you to decide what has to do with what. And on that note, I'm going to end it here. For now, this has been Renegade 67 with part... Seven. There go. Yeah, I'm right. Seven. Oh, let's play Phoenix Wright Eastern just for all case three blind. <gasps> Until next time, seven out your phrase and um, pizza rolls. Nah, bye.